G'day mate, if you're back, you've made it, so we say it's try it, mate. Well, the 62cc, I poured this heaps, but I've never got the airflow enough for the carby. Like, the carby's a small carby. I have had a, a 37.2 carby on this, but the hole um, that goes into here is too restricted. So I've modified one of the um, intakes, so I hit that with the um, flame and melted the rubber off it, and that there is a handle off a lawnmower. So I bent it, then brazed it to fit into that better. So put the torch on that. Now they've got a very big port, if you look at that. So the airflow will be good now. Now, what I bought, I got my, my packet from Farmtech, so it makes me feel good. This is a 372 boot. I cut it back. Now, there's the other part off it I cut, so I don't need this part, but it's a 372. The handlebar um, pipe here fits. Oh, it's a wonderful job I need to. So it fits like that up there. I've made it so it's the right length, so the 372, if you muck around with the linkage for the accelerator, it bolts straight up. Well, I want this to be inside of the um, the motor bay, I suppose, the engine bay. Um, so you can put the cowling and all that crap on, so you keep it cool. I've got rid of the divider. Um, so I've got rid of that part there. So I don't need that. Um, so what my pants are, hopefully it will fit. I don't know if it will, but I think it'll be damn good. I have got um, an aftermarket air filter um, kit. I've sent away twice to China. Twice they've thrown me back the wrong air filter. Square one. you got to get one for the older style like this. It's got an offset bolt in there. Uh, the way you can tell it's slightly rounded down here. I'll do a video when I get but then everything will bolt on and I'll keep the dust out. But I'm going to get um, a pre filter for over this too, just to clean it clean. But if that doesn't work, my next plan is to uh, get this out. Oh, a box of goodness. Oh, that's the gas. So here's a. 372 um, air filter pack, air filter pra plastic bracket there, and also um, the rubber mount to make it work. So I'm wondering if I've got room to mount it in here. Because in here it's not no vinyls or anything, it's, it's aluminium, so I might be able to mount it somehow. But if I can't, they'll give me a good air filter. But this, when I did muck around with it, did run. Pretty good, it's got a whole lot more torque and power. I'm surprised I got it to work right, but then it blew the um, pulse line, and that's what stuffed me out. But after a lot of assessing, the best way is to put this rubber boot on, that'll give me a bit of anti vibration. I needed an extra clamp, but um, the clamp I had was slightly too short, so there's that. Uh, Have this stuff ready. There's a clamp like that. It wasn't quite long enough, so I've doubled up two small ones. And that goes around there on this boot. I squishes on um, the rubber ring there and around the back. So that should give me a, an airtight fixture. I'm going to put a little bit of silicon around here just to make sure there's no air leaks. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've got. Um, the aluminium bracket there, I don't need the accelerator bracket because it's got a um, metal bracket just there, but I'll put that down up there. Um, plenty of room for it, it sticks out the front, so that'll fit good. Fuel line reaches, pulse line reaches, um, everything should work out just fine, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now, anyone who wants to really get to these things, um, the transfers on these are finger transfers. They come up, 
and they come to a um, a brick wall. Um, I wonder if I can torch them. Probably not. I don't know. They come up there. There's a basically yeah. Look, that's what you can see. Just there. Up there, they come straight up, and they hit a nine degree bend and go bang into the cylinder. Now. I've worked out if you do 25 degrees by them, you can get a pretty good performance, but then you lose compression. So I've gone 23 um, degrees by them, but I've got some liquid metal putty, and I put that in, and they, I've got a tool, this tool here. So I put it in the cylinder, and I make this tool bend it into the transfer chamber so the airflow goes around the corner so of 90 degrees so i have it running it's a it's a different sending motor it's weird i don't know how to describe it but it's not the same motor so it's obviously more efficient but i haven't had time to um tune it because i got locked in you can't can't go outside and make chainsaw noises all the time but um yeah tomorrow hopefully i'll have this all together tonight and um see how much fun i get out of it I don't know it's a crap saw, but um, I'd like to see what power I could actually get out of it. All right, thanks, mate. Catch you later.